What is going on guys over on the Carnage Clan channel? My name is Erbo and today I'm bringing you guys a class setup for the MTAR X which is a submachine gun in Call of Duty Ghost. Now what you guys are watching is just a little clip of where this gun really shines. It's really good up close and it could pretty much melt through anybody as you guys can see here. So I'm going to show you guys the exact class setup that I'm using so maybe you guys could try and replicate what I'm doing here. You know just turning around corners melting down people. So let's go ahead and get right into the class setup. It should help out a lot. So see you over there. Okay guys, so now that we're in the creative class menu, I have two setups to show you guys as usual. One's for core and one's for hardcore, but let's just go ahead and start out with the core setup. So for core, I like to run silencer and extended mags on my MTAR. Now the reason behind that is for silencer, you know, I like to stay off the radar. I don't want anybody to know where I am. And also, I just feel that the silencer gives the gun a really nice feel. Um, it sounds really cool, even though that doesn't really affect the damage. Um, you know, I just like having silencer on there and then for extended mags that really helps out by increasing the ammo capacity Which actually makes it easier and kind of ties into my strike package setup, which we'll get into a little bit later um, But for the secondary I don't have one on no lethal and no tactical now That's just kind of my go-to thing. I don't like having any of those things on I feel that the extra perk slots are more beneficial um, than having on a secondary or a lethal or a tactical So that's why I don't have anything selected there um, so now onto the actual perks. I like to run Ready Up, Dead Silence, Marathon, Scavenger, Amplify, and Focus. Now the reason behind Ready Up and Marathon, um, those kind of go together. Um, you know, I like to run around a lot with this MTAR, and you need to be able to have your gun up as fast as possible, and then Marathon just lets you, you know, run for longer periods of time. Um, but Ready Up is huge with this class, you know, you need to have that gun up as fast as possible in front of your character, and be able to shoot at that enemy. Um, but for Marathon, you know, it's not too necessary. You could either take out Marathon and put on Agility. I know some people like to do that. Um, but I just like to prefer Marathon just because some of the maps are really big um, and I think Marathon helps out more. But for Dead Silence, I like to have that on so nobody can hear me. And then there's Scavenger. For Scavenger, I find that Scavenger is a lot better to use than Fully Loaded because I actually end up getting more ammo with Scavenger than I would if I had Fully Loaded on. Um, but that's completely up to you guys. It's complete preference. Um, I know one of the other cards members like to put on Fully Loaded, but I notice that sometimes he always runs out of ammo, um, so that's just why I like to have Scavenger on. Then I have on Focus. Focus is a must with pretty much any gun in Call of Duty Ghost. A lot of the guns have a lot of jump when you're getting shot, and you don't want your gun to jump up too much, and then you're able to miss the target, and then you end up dying. That would really suck. Um, so that's why I have Focus on. I pretty much run that on every class, so keep that in mind. If you guys want to experiment with this class a little bit, um, just remember to keep Focus on. Then for the Strike Package, I like to run Specialist, and this kind of ties in to what I was mentioning earlier about Extended Mags. My first unlock in Specialist is Sight of Hand. And extended mags really helps with that because I don't really need to reload. I'm able to get three kills without reloading. Um, so the reload time really doesn't affect me um, until I'm three kills in. So I'm able to unlock set of hand that way. Um, and then I reload once and I'm able to get hardline and ICU usually. Um, like I said, we're going to be running around. So ICU helps out with that. I don't need to stop every once in a while to regen health. Um, so that makes the game a lot more fast paced and a lot more enjoyable. Then in my bonus at 11 kills, I have on quick draw and dead eye. Now quick draw is really important because like I said multiple times we're going to be running around and having that gun you know up faster aiming um, and tied in with ready up it is awesome. Um, it really makes your gun just pop up fast as possible. You can really have an advantage against your enemies that aren't running those perks. Now Deadeye is awesome also because the MTAR is really strong already um, and Deadeye just makes an absolute melt stick as I like to say. You know you can just pretty much cut through anybody like better. Um, so definitely try to get your specialist bonus at 11 kills you, know, you get dead eye and you're pretty much guaranteed the chem strike at that point if you just play really smart you know you can pick people off across the map with dead eye um, doesn't take too many bullets um, but that's pretty much it guys for the core setup so I'll see you over at the hardcore setup in just a moment okay guys so now onto the hardcore setup now I know a lot of people are switching over from core and going to hardcore um, just because you're able to kill a lot of people a lot faster um, so this will definitely help out for you guys that are just now switching over because the MTAR is a really good gun to use in hardcore. Now for hardcore, I like to run foregrip and extended mags. Now foregrip just helps to keep that gun under control. You're able to kill people in pretty much your first three shots at any range. And then extended mags just, you know, you can put that on so you don't have to reload as often. Now I don't run a secondary, lethal, or tactical again in hardcore, but my perks are a little bit different. I like to run ready up, sleight of hand, dead silence, amplify, blast shield, and fully loaded. Now the reason why I'm running fully loaded in hardcore rather than core is because you don't really want to run around too much in hardcore. You know, you don't want to run out into the open just to get a scab pack 
fully loaded really helps with that. And then I have on Blast Shield, it's just because everybody likes to use explosives in hardcore, and Blast Shield helps you survive up to two explosives at one time, so that is a must. Then I have on Amplify and Dead Silence, just so I could kind of like, you know, um, play a little bit more stealthy and hear enemies and have kind of the upper hand on them. Then Sleight of Hand is just so I could reload faster, and Ready Up is so I could have those first shots on target um, before the enemy does. Now, I don't have on Focus, I know I said that was a must um, in the core setup, and that's just because, you know, you don't really have time to react when you're already getting shot at in hardcore so focus doesn't really affect too many things there then for the strike package i like to run support i like to run b vest support squad mate and oracle you know the b vest just gives you a little bit of extra health you also help all your teammates there it makes going for chems a lot easier um then the squad mate just kind of watches your back he's pretty much guaranteed three kills um you know he's really hard to kill and kind of overpowered in my opinion um, but that's beside the point and then i have on oracle just so you can see the enemies through the walls and you know have the upper hand on them because timing is everything in hardcore I've mentioned it before um, you know you have to have that first shot to usually win a gunfight in hardcore um, so that's pretty much it guys for the core and hardcore setup I'll go back to the core and just show you guys that one more time so I have on the MTAR silencer and send mags these are the perks just pause it if you need some extra time then here's the strike package and then the bonus at 11 kills is dead eye and quick draw now for the hardcore um, you know there's the gun the attachments Here's the perks. Like I said, pause it if you need some extra time. And then there's the support strike package. So that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully these classes helped you guys out. Let us know in the comments down below. And also let us know what you guys want to see from us. It really means a lot to us. And also, my link will be down in the description below. So if you guys like gameplays, class setups, anything like that, definitely come over to my channel. Check me out. I really appreciate it. But like I said, that's it, guys. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please leave a like, favorite, and possibly subscribe. See ya.